Right now, city officials in Paso Robles are trying to manage a growing rodent problem at a city park. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola is live for us at Turtle Creek Park to explain. Alexa? Nina, a while back, someone placed poison bait all around the park to try to kill off the squirrels. Now, since then, the city of Paso Robles has put these signs up, letting people know that's illegal and it could come with a hefty fine. Among the woodpeckers and hums of other birds, Turtle Creek Park in Paso Robles is home to squirrels and a whole lot of them. There's dozens. There's quite a, quite a few. Gaylene Smoot says she sees the rodents on her daily walk. My biggest concern was they're over there by the big oak trees and they're tunneling underneath the oak trees and I just I just hate to see any damage being done. David Sturridge has lived near the park for two decades. And the good and bad side of the squirrels is depending on who you talk to. He says while many people don't mind them, others in the neighborhood have unfortunately had their yards torn up by them. I don't know who, but people in the area were just tired of seeing the squirrels and decided to try to do something about them themselves. The city says a while back someone used this over-the-counter poison bait all around the park. So we went out and um, found areas that they had baited. Uh, bait was just laying on the ground. Nate Wyatt, the city's parks maintenance supervisor, says they put up signs warning the community that it's illegal to do that on public property and it could come with a fine of up to $5,000. The squirrels are, are a big problem. Uh, they, they generate a lot of complaints for us and our, our hands are tied as far as the things that we can use for them. A few months back though, Wyatt says they were able to hire a company to do a carbon monoxide treatment in the squirrel burrows with a cost of about $2,000 for a week. At the time, it was a success. Although they've been multiplying and found their way back into the park again. And I'm told that the carbon monoxide treatment could be used again in the near future. As far as the person who put the poison bait out here, they have not been found. Live in Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Alexa, thank you.